This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. It's Wednesday. Wednesdays with Yaya. With my beautiful wife, Yaya. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. This is our day. Every day is our day, but this is this is our day to record. Yes. So thank you for being with me. You're welcome. Now, uh, just to update little, the people a little bit, you're a trooper. Just got out of surgery <laughs> not too long ago. Yes. So you're a trooper. Yeah. You some would say, so? say yeah. Some would say major. Some would say minor. I think it's kind of in between, but uh, I think major. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're you're here, <laughs> you're here, and I appreciate you. I said we didn't have to do this. That's true. But you said, "Nah, we gotta do it." So I appreciate you for that. Nerd up, young man. That's the topic for today. Nerd up. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Nerd up, young man. Now, you know, this could be a broader topic, including females or, the, or women or girls, mm -hmm. but the challenge is called A Toast to the Men. If any young women are logged in, hey, take from this. Feel free to take from this and apply it to your own life. But I target young men and men. And so, uh, not to exclude women, but that's just my niche. Right. And that's who I target. That's right. my target audience. And you're good at it. Thank you. Thank you. Nerd up, young man. So, um, I think this is a huge uh, problem in the inner city. Or even if you're not in the inner city, if you don't have a male, a solid male figure in your life that's giving you that confidence and giving you that, uh, that blueprint of uh, walking within yourself, walking within your purpose, mm -hmm. being confident with who you are and being okay in your own skin. You can get caught up trying to emulate something you're really not. Exactly. Some thug, some gangster, mm -hmm. some pimp, drug dealer, whatever. When really, man, you, you need to be focused on the nerd in you. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> and so my belief is there's a nerd in all of us. There's a genius in all of us. There, there's something special, uh, high level in all of us. Now, do all of us know what it is? I, I don't know. Have all of us tapped into it? No. But there's something special with, within all of us that's separated or aside from this image that we present to the world. Right. Something, you know, we... We might have grown up being insecure about, didn't like to share stuff. I didn't share a lot of my writing with, with people. Uh, had a girlfriend, I won't see her name, but she's probably watching this. I would share my poetry with her. Mm -hmm. And my boys, a couple of my tight boys, they knew I wrote poetry and I would write at church. Uh, when plays came around, Easter plays or whatever specials came around at church, everybody else had something they were given. They let mm -hmm. me write my own stuff. So, mm -hmm. so even the church knew I was talented mm -hmm. in that, in that respect, in that regard. And so, um, I wasn't insecure, shy about it. I just didn't share with everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone doesn't have an appreciation for that, and that's okay. Um, but I do know young men and, and older men that have gifts and talents, and, they, and there's a nerve inside of them. There's a genius inside of them, and they just don't have that confidence to to show it. Now, before you get too far, how would you define a nerd? A nerd is, uh, and I don't, I don't see nerd in a negative uh, light or mm -hmm. negative connotation. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, a nerd is someone that's disciplined, disciplined in a gift, disciplined in a gift, uh, focus and discipline within a gift. That's a nerd to me. So. 
whatever it is, uh, uh, you're, you're into science, uh, you're into speaking, you're into uh, writing, um, makeup, um, anything you, you're so focused on and disciplined in mm -hmm. and you have a passion for it that you want to know what goes on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. not just what's up front. Right. Like, say you're into makeup, applying makeup, uh, manufacturing makeup, and you're not just doing it for the money, but you like to see the science of it. Right. <laughs> How do they make these colors? Mm -hmm. What makes this color? Uh, experimenting with different colors. Mm -hmm. Now, out front, people may just see you as a makeup artist. But they don't know how passionate you are about it and how right. deeply you're into it, right? Right. So that's that's a nerve to me. And that's okay. That's that's genius. It's genius to that. Mm -hmm. And I think all of us have that. Yeah. Kind of like that person who wants to take take something apart, figure it out, and right. put it back together. Right. Reverse engineering. Mm -hmm. That's genius to that. Mm -hmm. Um that's not my gift. I don't I don't have a passion or an intrigue about that, but that's someone else's gift. Mm -hmm. So they're made the way they're made, I'm made the way I'm made, right. and, and whatever. Um, I think what plays a part in that also, the young girls. The young girls, I don't think, for the most part, are not interested in the kid that's so passionate and disciplined about their gift and talent. Mm -hmm. They want the they want the popular kid, the bad boy, right? <laughs> right. I think, and then you get to so what, what age do you think the girls, the females, get to an age where they start reevaluating or shifting their interests and in what they see in in a, in a guy? What age? I think, I think actually, like after high school. So you got all this fun out, yes, <laughs> messing with the bad boy. Mm -hmm. And now you want the serious guy, yeah. the focused guy. Mm -hmm. I think I think right after high school is when that hits. Now, we we talked about this before. So, I believe there's a nerd in all of us. I believe there's genius in all of us, and I believe you should focus on that and get the most out of that. But, like you said, there comes a time when the women are attracted to that. When they want stability and structure, mm -hmm. they start thinking about the future, right? Right. They see in the future with this guy, it's not focused, really. <laughs> right. Right? <laughs> but some people get stuck in that because they have kids by them and whatever happens, right? right. Mm -hmm. But y'all still want a guy with some edge. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because there was something in you that was attracted to this guy mm -hmm. back in the day. He had that edge. Right. Whatever that age was, everybody got a different age. So that doesn't leave, but your focus has just been shifted. Right. What's, what's more important, your priorities have been shifted. Right. But that age, what that 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 attraction to that edge does not leave. Right. So a brother got to be focused, a nerd, <laughs> <laughs> and he got to have an edge. But the, the but the focus got to come before the edge in him. But he got to have that little edge in him. To keep y'all attention. Well, yeah, but you know, I like I told you before, I um, it's important to me to feel protected, mm -hmm. and so I connected being protected to a man having an edge. I feel like he has to have some edge to 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 be fearless enough to, you know, get to, down and dirty. To get down and dirty. To, to shoot if he has to. Damn. Well, I'm just saying. He's protecting the family. This no, no, no. I feel you. I feel you. So he, he got to be able to get dirty if he needs to get dirty. Right. I dig that. I dig that. Uh, now, we now we don't we don't, we don't don't prep on this. I give her a premise, but we don't say what we're going to say. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to come out of her mouth. She doesn't know what's going to come out of my, my mouth. So what would you say my edge is? Say it. I mean, just share it. I mean, are, are you asking if I believe you'll get down and dirty or how far you will go? Or? Right. Well, how far do you... What? What's my edge? 
What do you mean? What's your edge? Everybody got an edge. Uh, so you okay? So let's let's switch this around. You said you like a man with the edge that you feel protected. Right. Okay. So do you think that's my edge? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you think I would get down and dirty? Without a doubt. Man, I ain't gonna bust a grape. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah. laughs> no. Nah. So yes, you would. So so uh, <laughs> yeah, I would. So you stay in protective mode, though. Yeah, that's just my nature. I think to protect, mm -hmm. uh, especially my woman, my kids, uh, my friends. If if you're in my circle, yeah, I feel I gotta protect you, even if you're connected to someone in my circle. I don't even really know you. Right. If you're riding with me. I'm responsible for you. Exactly. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I'm responsible for you. Mm -hmm. I don't even know you, but if you're connected to me and my riding with me, mm -hmm. I'm responsible for you. And see, it's funny because, well, not really funny, but those people, those others in mm -hmm. your circle, sometimes didn't understand that. Right. Because you would also communicate with them whenever they were doing too much. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Or like, bringing too much attention right, hey, to man. the circle. Yeah, and I know how I am, so I don't like you bringing new people, really, to my circle. Right. Um, Because I know how involved I can get mm -hmm. if something is going on with mm -hmm. them, they're connected to us, even indirectly. I'm in it. Mm -hmm. So it's best for me to just keep a small circle. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, the person has to understand that you're vouching for that person <laughs> that that you bring to our table. You're vouching for that person. They, they have to understand that. See, now, I don't think people, most people understand that. So when yeah. you address the person that's right. doing it, right. they become offended. Yeah, they think I'm being an a-hole. Mm -hmm. And I can be an a-hole, mm -hmm. but with that, I'm just trying to protect myself and everybody involved. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, that would be my edge, my, my dark side, I guess, one of my dark sides. But, so, you know, what influences a man or a young boy to emulate whatever? You know, I, I don't know what trigger goes off in, in a young man's head that says, I want to emulate this, or I want to emulate that. With myself, um, like I said, I've always been an artist, a creator. I didn't have a father in the home, but I had deacons. Mm -hmm. I had a connection within church, coaches. So I knew, you know, television. So I knew what kind of man I was drawn to. Right. And I told you there was a, a deacon at, a, at a, the church I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And most of the deacons were blue-collar workers. I loved them all. They loved me. Uh, they were blue-collar workers respect I respected them all and uh if you went to church choir practice on a Wednesday or something they would be in their work clothes so you knew what they did these were rough rough man rough hands <laughs> you knew what they did right <laughs> but there was one guy and he was over the finances and most of the deacons drove a truck but this guy was over the finances and when he would come in on Wednesdays Man, this dude was neat. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was neat. He didn't have on blue collar uh, attire. And it wasn't just that that drew me to him. It's like, I don't know what he does. I want to do something. He, what he does. I was young, like eight, nine. Mm -hmm. This dude drove a Volvo. A Volvo. This is back, this is back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. You didn't just see no Volvos. Mm -mm. Right? Uh you didn't see those sobs. Was it sobs? Yeah. Sobs, Volvos. You didn't see those. And this dude had a Volvo that intrigued me. And uh, he was in banking, high level banking. You know, I never got into that, but I knew I wanted to use my brain, really use my brain. Whatever I did, I wanted right. to use my brain. And uh, as a young man, as a teen, a young teen. I worked in the warehouses or whatever, but mm -hmm. it wasn't my thing. So opportunity came. That's the way life works. Speak it. It comes to you. Right. Manifest it. And hey, I'm in IT. And that's, that's just how it goes. But with some guys, 
I don't know what draws them to other men. You know, I, I don't know. Look, uh, some guys are drawn to the blue collar, and that's and that's good. That's that's cool. Right. Honest living. You can make a lot of bread. Uh, and I especially re respect anyone that goes independent. Oh, yeah. Doing their own thing mm -hmm. in the blue collar world. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about guys who go towards the, 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 the underground life. Right. Yeah, I don't know what's, what triggers what. And why they're drawn to certain things is the yeah I don't I don't get it. That's 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 interesting. I don't get it. You know, maybe it's a deep insecurity inside. I don't know, but I will say, uh, nerd up, young man, nerd up, because that's who's running the world. <laughs> yeah, even even some of these nerds are some hardcore white collar gangsters. Mm. But they're nerds. Right. <laughs> they're nerds. And they, a lot of them will litigate you to death, sue you to death, have you in court to death, and pimp you in the court system. Mm -hmm. But they're white collar nerds. Mm -hmm. And uh, so don't think the nerd doesn't have an edge, mm -hmm. right? Um, don't think the nerd won't drop you. Mm. I don't think the nerd won't knock you out. A nerd is just someone who is focused on their passion, their gifts, their talents, and uh, they're manifesting, you know, uh, their art. And so their gifts. So, yeah, don't get it confused. So whenever you get done, doing your, 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 your crimes and living your criminal life. Uh, whenever you get off parole, probation, get out of jail, whenever you get done with that, you go into the nerd. Right. <laughs> you're going back to the nerd right. for a job. And see, we had a family member uh -huh. that you had this conversation with. Right. Because he wanted to be in the streets, he thought. And I knew he wasn't cut out for that. He wasn't. No he wasn't raised in that kind of neighborhood. Right. He didn't come from that kind of family. Uh, I said, man, you. you I said, you, you're a nerd. I said, you're a nerd. Right. I said, but that's a good thing. I said, man, I got. I'm a nerd. I got some nerd in me. Uh, I'm proud to be that. I said, you're a nerd, man. Be who you are. It's okay, man. He could draw his butt off. Yes. Yes. Uh, the reverse engineer we were talking about. He could break something down and put it back together. Right. He wanted to see how it worked, why it came together that way. Genius mind. Right. But he didn't have the confidence, uh, no father in his life at a young age, and he didn't have the confidence to know who he was and why he was here. Mm -hmm. And so why did he gravitate towards the street life? I, I don't know. You know, I don't I don't know. Um man, I don't know why we do what we do. Mm-hmm sometimes but um gifted gifted and so uh yeah all he had to do was nerd up that's it yeah he's definitely a nerd yeah and you got to be I confident in that and like i said man like a nerd doesn't make you weak <laughs> a nerd makes you the most powerful man in the room because mm -hmm. you're a thinker you know who you are you're securing yourself uh you know, but if it has to come down to you, you doing what you got to do, you do that too. Right. You know, uh, hey, it is what it is. Protect yourself at all times. But hey, I think more young men need to be taught this. Nerd up, meaning focus on your gifts and talents. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can only reach who I can reach, but. Uh, it's a confidence thing. And I was told years ago that the father gives the child the confidence. Um, okay. To know who you are and be secure in yourself. Mm -hmm. A strong father. Um, and so, yeah, I look at that. The women I've come across that didn't have fathers in their lives. Or even the women I interviewed for this book coming up, mm -hmm. Palmer Christie. Uh, no fathers, or, or uh, a couple of them, you know, not not strong fathers. 
and they didn't have a sense of self. Yeah, yeah, the majority did have uh, father issues. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they didn't they didn't know who they were, why they were here. Yeah, um, it's hard to say who who it has a bigger impact on not having a father, a strong father at home, the, the female or the male, or maybe it just impacts them differently. Um, but um, yeah, there's, well, there's a there's a need for both, you know, for yeah. balance. Well, I think I think with the guys. The balance is important because because uh we can inflict pain and hurt right. and break things and they, we shoot things up and uh we cause a lot of mayhem physically yeah right mm -hmm. uh with the woman y'all can cause a lot of mayhem yeah y'all can y'all can get into uh the physical mayhem also but for the most part y'all can cause y'all may mayhem emotionally right you know what i'm saying yeah um, so if you're emotionally disturbed, man, y'all can cause some, like what they say, nothing like a woman scorned. Oh, no, mm -hmm. no wrath like a woman scorned. So, um, yeah, it just impacts us differently. But hey, to the women, young women out there, you nerd up too. Nerd up. Um, a lot of y'all don't go the gangster role, but you go the whole role. Oh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Did you say that? Yeah. I mean, that's just, it, it is what it is. I'm go the promiscuous role, mm -hmm. uh, or the whole role, opposed to the robbing, the gangster, the thug. You know, we got, got a few, but for the most part, you start using your bodies. Exactly. In a way mm -hmm. that, that, you know, wasn't designed to be used. So, yeah. That's true. So, yeah. Nerd up. Know who you are. Be secure in that. Love yourself. And uh, never be ashamed. Never be ashamed. You had purpose before anyone had an opinion. Ooh. All right. I like that. You like that? Yeah, I do. All right. That's it. That's our two cents. You got anything? No, this is good. All right. As usual, from me to you, love. Peace. Peace.